Okay, guys, so on the last lesson, um, by the way, this is day 15. On the last lesson, we talked about custom registration, and today we're going to talk about custom login, so custom authentication. Um, so we have our login page here already, I created it, and we don't have anything here in the store method, so this is what we are going to work with. I still remember that my account was Mateus to add test.org. Let me sh let me see if that's correct. Um, yeah, Mateus to add test.org like this. And I know the password is password. So, what happens once we click this? Well, let's start by dumping the request. Okay, so we get um, the fields we want. And I'm going to show you guys the easy way first and the, let's say, the very manual way after this. So the first thing we gotta do is to say data equals request validate. We need to validate this request. So first we must say uh, that the email is required and it must be a string. And that the password is also Required and it must be string like this. Okay. Um, so then the first thing that we gotta do is find the user. So we must say user where the email is the email that we got through the form. And you can say first or fail like this. So if we dump this, we get the user. So okay, now we have the user. How do we authenticate them? And I actually started with the <laughs> with the hardest way. So okay, um, well, we need to compare the password that they gave us and the password that they have on the database. But remember that's the it's a hashed value, right? So we need to compare it using uh, Laravel's helper. We can say if hash, and we're going to import a check. And if we take a look at this, um, you can that it expects a value and a hashed value like this. So we can say if the password they gave us is the same as the user password like this, and let's do a jump here. So let's try it. So you can see that we got one. So if the password is the same, let's try one where it's not the same. So we got nothing here. So if, if it's the same password, we can call the off facade again. Let me import it. And we can say login as the user like this and then return um, redirect posts. While if it's not, we can, I don't know, we can say uh, ret um, return back with errors, um, password, the password is wrong, like this. So if we go here and click it, you can see that we are authenticated. Now this is the hardest way, but Laravel also provides us a way to, to make this much easier. So all you gotta do really is say um, auth, the same facade, attempt, and let's take a look at this. So we it expects an array of credentials, and those credentials sh should be the ones that we use on the guard. In that case, the login is email, and that's a few that we're using to, um, to fetch the user, and the password. So we could say auth attempt, and since we we only have this here, really, we can just say data, and then we can return back, or return the redirect posts like this. So let's try this now. I'm going to um, log out and log in once again. So one sec. Okay, so let's log in now. Password. And you can see that I'm logged in. So um, this is Laravel's way, let's say, and the one I showed earlier would be the more manual way where you have more control over what you're doing. But if you want to see the actual Laravel way on how to do this, take a look at the source code of Laravel Breeze. That's the best way uh, for doing authentication or even better, just use Laravel Breeze and it will export the controllers to your application so you have full control over it and you can check the code. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, or even better, tomorrow. See you later.